The Weldon B. Hoot Gibson Distinguished Volunteer Award. It's the highest honor we bestow on people that volunteer in service of the WSU Foundation. It means that you have committed an immeasurable amount of time to WSU, oftentimes uh, also generous donors, but it's more about your commitment to WSU as a volunteer, your passion for WSU. It's easy to figure out who has made it to this level. Ken and Sue easily fit all of those criteria. They, their passion for WSU is, is amazing. Kenneth Christensen was born and raised in Washington's Skagit Valley. He grew up on his family's farm, and his grandfather, Alf Christensen, began a family seed company. On the other side of the country, Bonnie Suzanne Stack was born in New York. Her early years were spent in Arizona and Texas. I think she was a can-do kid. Ken attended Mount Vernon High School. He played football and participated in, in pretty much all the school activities. His nickname in high school was Carrot. <laughs> the Stack family moved to Bellevue, Washington during Sue's teen years, where she participated in many activities, including cheerleading. Ken journeyed across state to attend Washington State University. I first met Ken when I was at, uh, a freshman and in, in, uh, going into the Sigma Phi Epsilon house where he kind of was one of those guys that you just respected. He became very active in the fraternity and served as chapter president. He always was one of the first ones to sign up for intramural. He loved rugby. I think he loved bouncing and banging with guys and he, he played rugby up until just a few years ago. Ken was also on the rally squad for two years. Sue came to WSU, and um, to our good fortune, she played the Alpha Gamma Delta Sorority, which was within a block of our house on College Hill. Sue Christensen was very involved in sorority life and was known as a go-getter, helping at every opportunity, including pledge class president and house manager. She met Ken here um, her sophomore year. They were a fun-loving couple. They liked to do outdoor things, and they liked to be together a lot. Ken graduated in 1974 with a degree in agronomy. Sue followed in 76 with a food science and technology degree. They married later that year on Apple Cup Saturday. And before her parents knew it, she was whisked off to a farm. And Sue has embraced the farm life. So much so that she became a master gardener. We still kind of poke fun at her uh, city girl becoming a, a farming girl, throwing on boots, getting muddy, going out to the field. Ken took over the reins of the family seed business. Alf Christensen Seed Company was very involved in forward thinking research, which allowed the seed industry to remain in Skagit County. Ken and Sue founded Chris Haven Trees in 1990. And uh, for 10 years, I mean, if you can imagine, you know, running one business, they were uh, running two businesses at the same time and uh, quite successful at both, I might add. And when Alf Christensen was sold to investors, they made an interesting deal. The new owners had to continue the philanthropic legacy of the company. Even to go so far as to say, we need you to support WSU, and the buyers held up that, that end of the deal. And in the midst of all this, Ken and Sue were raising four children. Successful kids, they were always there to support them. It seemed like they distributed their time pretty well between all the kids whether it was Jeff and Jay's soccer games, Stacy's soccer games, and, um, and then my uh, camps. The Christiansons definitely live an active lifestyle. Hunting is big with the men. It's a way for them to get, get out, and it's the only time really I, I get to see a, a relaxed version of, of my dad. 
the whole family has skied throughout the Northwest. And Jeff and Ken are mountain climbers. So we went down to Argentina and uh, climbed to Aconcagua, which is the, the highest mountain outside of the Himalayas. My parents, as far as I can remember, always had a boat. So we would go out, you know, in the San Juan Islands, boating and um, crabbing and fishing. And there's usually a bit of humor on these family outings. It was not funny when it happened, but we have this really nice um, boat, fiberglass hole, and we're launching it. We unhook it, and Dad is pulling down the boat uh, launch ramp, and he taps the brakes once, and it slides right off, and it just grinds down um, right in the middle. It's a really busy boat launch, and everyone's staring. And, and for how hard it crashed and skid down the concrete ramp, it did not do that much damage to the, surprisingly. The kids agree, Ken and Sue take it all in stride. <laughs> One of those things we, we kind of, uh, oh, don't ask my dad for help back in a boat down a, a boat launch. <laughs> my parents, they're always putting other people before themselves. They're definitely always saying yes um, to whatever comes their way. Ken and Sue give credit to their own mothers for instilling in them their desire to help others. They are active volunteers with WSU's College of Agriculture, Human and Natural Resource Sciences. Ken has been on the Foundation Board of Trustees, Sue with the Alumni Association, Cougar Club, and more. They really love doing it. They enjoy um, helping out and, and doing what they can. The Christiansons are an unbeatable team. Their impact on Mount Vernon yeah, and that project is, is amazing. It took bold action to save the Northwest Washington Research and Extension Center. And bold action means we all rented a plane and flew to Pullman and had a heart-to-heart -heart with the dean, uh, which was carried over to President Sam Smith. We gave the dean the uh, backing that he could push this issue and uh, it was placed on their priority list. They went to work in 2005. Sue chaired a $1.5 million capital campaign. He and Sue both worked hard to go out and, and get people to donate and get people to step forward and make sure this place stayed in Sketch County. Right? Ken and Sue remain active with their Greek houses. 2006 was a critical year when Ken was the driving force behind the Sigma Phi Epsilon renovation. They're really elbow grease kind of volunteers. And really that's the kind that money can't buy. If it wasn't for him, it wouldn't have happened. It would have folded and they'd be gone. They have been recognized in the past for their service to WSU and many of the facets of WSU. Starting with the Foundation's Outstanding Service Award, Sue received the Women's Leadership Recognition Award, and Ken garnered his fraternity's Distinguished Alumnus Award, and too many others to count. She's also been uh, uh, intricate in the economic development of Skagit County. Sue is the founder and served as director of the Skagitonians to Preserve Farmland and rallied the Far West Cougars. They get more done in a day than most people get done in a week. They're involved with the YMCA, Immaculate Conception Regional School, St. Charles Church. There's not a wasted moment. They are um, the ultimate multitaskers. The Kiwanis Club and the Gene Thompson Guild of Seattle Children's Hospital. They're efficient, organized, never seen anything really quite like it. And of course, they are huge Cougar fans. They're always there for the football games and the basketball games and wearing all their cougar, cougar gear and my mom carries her pom-poms. and They own a home in Pullman, so they're, uh, I'd say they're about as coog as you get. They've been outstanding role models for their children and now for their grandchildren. I know my, my entire family will always consider themselves part of the Cougar family as well. Most would agree the Christiansen's level of commitment is hard to match. 
that 350 some mile drive from Mount Vernon to Pullman, I think is, uh, would deter a lot of people from uh, participating at least at the level that they have. We're just lucky that it happens to be that they're kooks because they're so committed to improving the lives of kooks and our university and the foundation. Ken and Sue Christensen are receiving the highest honor from the Washington State University Foundation. Thank you for all you have done for Washington State University. I'm proud to be your friend. Thank you for giving me that example and giving me that challenge to live up to. Ken and Sue, I'm so proud of you and I can't think of anyone more deserving of this honor.